Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have just arrived and take my seat off at the National South I'll let you say, Field I'll get it wrong. and Renovation Centre. So I've always wanted to come here. I bet you've never. I didn't know about it, if I'm <laughs> totally honest. But I had a little Google and it looks pretty good. It's one of those places yeah. that you drive past and I've always wanted to come here, but I've never had a reason to come here. Like, why, never had why, a why would you just come here? Either. Why would you just come here? Yeah. But it was actually um, Jordan's uncle that uh -huh. told us about this show. So it's a show. It's a national self-build and renovation show. So that's where we are today. And Jordan's uncle is got a stand here. He has a stand? because he's, he has a, he's a, exhibitioning. Yeah, like. a tiled and flooring company. So he said to come along, didn't he? Yeah. And do you know what I've seen straight in front of us? What? A heat pump car. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so basically ah. we're looking for inspiration. Yeah, long, long, long story <laughs> short. We're here, obviously, for the renovation inspiration. Yes. And Materials, see... what we're going to use. Yeah. How we're going to do it, a bit of styling. Yeah. What, what you... works, what doesn't. What are you hoping to get out of it? Uh, just general ideas to piece together, yeah. basically. Yeah. Me too. So, Ooh, I'm very excited, actually, to walk around. Yeah, let's go out. I bet you're starving, aren't you? I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> no, but I made sure I had some food. I've been and beans on toast before I came. Okay. Oh, that's why you were doing beans on toast. Yeah, because Jessie had oh. it as well, and the girls had it, so we all had beans on toast. Okay. Right. Well, let's get out and head in. Yes. So Jordan has spotted. So not that rendered bit, but the top bit because we're only one story. Uh, the front of our house, we have a, a gable like this, and I want a lot of glass, so maybe two panels like that with um, the doorway in the middle. What do you reckon? Yeah, sounds that's nice. Like, but no, that's two sort of light, isn't it? Yeah, and then we have our booklet here, but I suggested a few talks, but Jordan uh, isn't down for them, so we're just going to wander <laughs> around and see what I'm takes really our fancy. Talk, sit down and talk. So, our first issue in the renovation is heating so we need to think about a heat pump or some kind of heating Maybe. method what's this is that like an electric radiator or something must be yeah and then what is that the heat pump yeah like that's obviously telling you the lesser bells so that's how loud it's loud mind when you're here still here okay right so, so we're really torn with the whole heating thing we don't know what to do really do we because some people are saying a heat pump yeah. some people are saying don't go near a heat pump <laughs> but we haven't got anything at the moment we've only got an immersion which yeah. needs a bit of hot water we just we need to really think price about it, it. Up, figure out if gas is going to go up really see if it's going to be more expensive for us yeah. uh, but obviously because we're doing our home it's going to be well insulated do you see what i mean yeah it's not just replacing um the boiler it is you know, we're going to insulate it all, it's going to be a, a modern home, so maybe it will work. We do, it's so hard to make a decision on things like this, I mean, this is the first thing and we're like, yes. we just don't know because one professional will tell you one thing and another will tell you another, so. I mean, how much yeah. is a heat pump to start? Yeah, I think that's where we should start. If and that's actually like, figure if out. comes out of like 20k, then we'll be like, right. Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. We absolutely love these doors. Show them how it opens, Jod. I mean, how fancy is that? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. But, but I know it will just be covered in handprints. These doors would be much easier to keep clean. I do like that. What, the black door? I like the black door. I feel like if you get a nice wooden door, they're a bit more timeless. What do you think? I do love the black doors, the black glass. I know, they're I know so lovely, mean, yeah. but are they a trend that we're going to hate in five years? <sighs> what do you think, mister? I don't know. I'm not a design <laughs> expert. The Jordan loves the aluminium. Yes. And aluminium, tongue twister. Yes. Look, so for guttering and coping that's maybe something i've learnt today silver something i've learnt today silver, silver do you think yeah here's all the colors you can get it in or a dark I'm not sure i yet. quite like this color to be fair yeah, whatever color that color, is yeah oh the colors are gonna be so hard to like all put together but um 
yeah, this is what Jordan fancies around the house. Mm -hmm. Front door inspiration right here. That looks so cool, doesn't it? So we have a little smart key here. So what do you do? Thumbprint? Thumb scan. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is cool. That's so good, isn't it? <laughs> but I don't want to know. So we got a ring doorbell I was going to have. Because yeah. we like ring. And then thumb scanner. Now that is very cool. That's so good, isn't it? Like this is the anthracite grey. Yeah. So this will match him. We'd have I feel like you have to either color. go for like black and black yeah. or grey and grey. It's hard, isn't it? Is that a front door? I reckon. Looks like... I mean, that's perfect for the twin pram. Yeah, it is perfect say. for the twin pram, yeah. Yeah. Hiya. So we've had a good old chat with RK Door Systems and we love them. <laughs> I, I love the big entrance. Yeah. That's on my list, big entrance. Definitely. We thought we saw the fanciest door we could see, but no, apparently not. Wow, that is a door. That would fit, it would fit. Jordan. I feel like this door would be what you'd have in the Hollywood Hills. Maybe one day, love. <laughs> Look at that! That's literally a Hollywood door. So, cladding. Which one do you like best? I like the thin, like 50 mil. What, like that? No, I don't actually know what it is. 50? I reckon it's 50 mil. That's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I think it looks So, we like that, that style, don't we? Yes, that's what I Vertical was and thin. I like it all to be fair, oh, though. Got like a 75. So we are at the <laughs> Jordan's expert builder. <laughs> She's got her nose what you're about. <laughs> right? I'm not going <laughs> Jordan said that that's the only colour wood clad you can get. And no, I said, I no. Say that's yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. red cedar. Yes. And that is the type of colour you get with red cedar. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Okay. But you can also get that style in different types of wood. Do I have to get red cedar like that, do we? Or... Yeah, but this is a hardwood for outside. Okay, right. This is, this is just going to be fun, isn't it? Because <laughs> I, I like that colour. I really yeah. like it, but I would prefer a lighter shade. Well, if you can't get a lighter shade, what are you going to do? Well, you must be able to. It's a natural product, love. Yeah, but you could, you could like have different finishes Would... on them. I actually don't know about finishing it on the outside. Okay, well, I don't know either, so... But I definitely know Betty does that style. It like, goes a bit... Um, there's another one that goes teak and things like that. It goes a bit lighter, like a, a more... I'm going to say silvery colour. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I like that. Okay, so why don't you scan here? Yes. And then we'll get sent more information on it. Top scanner here? Yeah. Oh, no, scan on this. Yeah, you scan on that little thing. So when you come here, you get the little device. Right, how do you do that? Um, okay. Like that. There we go. There she is. There she it's is. It's know it all. Yeah, the know it all knows how to scan things. Don't you worry about that, hun? Oh. Well, at the South Build and Renovation Centre, they have actually a house that you can walk in and you listen to audio about how to renovate. Well, as we have Pro Builder here. No, not quite, but yeah. uh, He's like, well, I don't actually need to listen to the that. Door's, the door's quite nice, you can repaint really that, you know. Uh, that's what they do. So you can come in and listen. I've broken floor down there, love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what you've got to spot, a bit oh. of damp. Yeah. yeah down. This looks like out. our renovation we just got. Actually, from. Just got to investigate. this does look like the renovation we just got. But you can there come in and um. Oh wow! Yeah, we've definitely seen some like this before. Yes, we have. Got some more damp here. Oh no, that's from the cooker. This is like the cottage. All the windows and doors were covered in. You guys will probably tar. remember. Do you remember when we did it? Yeah. It was all like this everywhere. Oh, was, oh my goodness! Yeah. So in the renovation house, they have underfloor heating. We definitely want this in our project. Yes, all downstairs with no radiators. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have radiators upstairs. So underfloor heating downstairs and radiators upstairs. What did you just say? I feel the vibe me in the kitchen in my new house. Yeah. Look, yeah, like the modern style. We want to go for a modern kitchen. Yeah. So we got a lot of kitchen. Oh wow. No handles, <laughs> just all modern. We got a lot Plus. of kitchen shopping to do. Put it that way. And then we want a big island, don't we? Definitely big island with a cooker on the island and maybe a breakfast area or something like that. 
I like these doors. I think they're so lovely, but obviously we need to choose from doors like this or bifolding doors. So. I'm not sure how comparison the insulation these are. That's something we need to find out, yeah. isn't it? I mean, they obviously are. But I like this as well, like internally, Jordan. Yeah, internal, I think it's completely fine. We could have this in the open they space. Do. Yeah, that looks lovely. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we separate it off, yeah. I think they're so nice. I love them. I love the colour as well. We've seen this gorgeous wooden handcrafted kitchen. Can, I, nice. can I tempt you to a wooden kitchen, Jordan? Can I tempt you? No, I don't think you could. Because really? I'm not going for that vibe in this house. Oh, come on, it's gorgeous. Oh, darling, I know it's gorgeous. Come on. I'll let, this, I'll let the subscribers decide. Do you like a wooden Would kitchen? Would you rather a wooden kitchen like this? This is obviously modern as well. Yeah, it's a modern wooden kitchen. Modern wooden kitchen. Or would you rather the other style like we showed? It's hard, isn't it? Because I think if you're going to go for wood floor, probably go for a different kitchen. Yeah, because I think it's like... You can't have all wood... wood floor, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. No, but Yes, not. we are. Darling, we are not. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is a problem. We're actually starting no, to are, disagree. I, no, no, because the patio needs to flow through into the kitchen, so it's got to have to be tiled. It's I don't know if I can cope with this. You can have wood upstairs. I want wood everywhere. No, you can't. What about if we had the divider in the open space and wood one side and then tile. and tiles the other side? Yeah, that's possible. Is that possible? Because you need the flow, right? You need the flow for the tiles walking out because we're going to have big bifolds going out to patio. That's how we need it done. And I'll show you the tiles. They're big, like 1200 by 1200. They're huge. Listen, I haven't even seen these tiles yet, okay? So, I'm come you. on. I love the island with the wood on on the bottom. So this is what I'm thinking, so an island like this. Okay, well if we're going to go for porcelain floor, we could have maybe an island with wood on like this. Yeah, well that's fine, yeah. And then wood floor in the other part. Yeah, like we can mix and match. Because we're going to have wood clad in, so wood inside will be fine. Tiles. I really love wood though. I think it's I know, timeless. But and tiles, tiles, I just have a problem with them. No, because the joints will be one mil, we do one or two mil joints and they'll be flush. There'll be no, there'll be no little divot. It'll be flush, so the floor will be flush. Okay? No, I'm not convinced yet. We're going to have a look. But, um, Goodness me. But yeah, these are lovely, aren't they? These kitchens. Yeah. Wow, look at that there's, one. There's some there, look there. Yeah, really nice. Gorgeous. I really love wooden stairs. Yeah, oh wow. That is a vibe. Yeah, we love that look, don't we? I do. That's a vibe as well, that one up there. No, I like that because it's got the contrast. Yeah. yeah, but look at the like, design of that one. Yeah, but I've always <laughs> had on my pin dress that. Oh, have you? That oh, wow. I love the wooden this stairs, nice, so. Right, nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Depends how we're going to get upstairs. That's the, what we've got to figure out. We are just having a spot of lunch outside. Because why not? Then we're going to go back in and finish up. I say we're about halfway around. Bit of lunch and we're going to head back in. So here's the shade, well, the tone, I guess, of wood that we love. So a really light ash colour. Similar to what we got, we put down in our Yeah, place. similar to our living room. But, yeah. but the question is, do we go for straight boards, which I love, yes. or do we go for a herringbone parquet style? It's a hard one. It costs a lot more to lay. Oh, way. does it? Yeah. Okay. And you know what? I really like herringbone and parquet. I think it looks lovely, but I think it could, it could get tired of it. Maybe? Yeah. To Whereas be fair, straight wood, you rug, never get tired of it. Once you've got a rug down and all that, yeah. in the, if it's going in the living area, yeah. you can have a big rug. Yeah. So, so you show me these tiles. You're paying a lot of money for, you know, yeah. you're not going to see it. Show me these tiles then that you think I'm going to fall in love with. I don't with. know if he's got the 1200s here, but... So oh. here's the porcelain tiles. That's size. So Jordan like loves the, the big size. That's one metre by one metre. You like that, do you? I like the big size, yeah. So the bigger the better, basically. Can you get that and hit this one as well? You can get that by 1200 by 1200, even bigger. Oh, wow. Literally huge. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I think we need to decide on what kitchen we're going for. What kitchen? Then once we've got the kitchen colour and that, then the floor. Yeah. And then run out onto the patio. 
but I obviously the lighter colour would be nicer. Jordan wants the uh, porcelain because he because he says that you can have it like through the kitchen then through to the patio. Yeah, you can have all the same, so running through the whole house. So it gives like a seamless look. Seamless look and mm. it just looks more open and big. We're going to see how it goes on that one. And obviously laying a porcelain patio, you get that nice sleek finish look. We're going to see how it goes. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? We don't know yet, do we? I can't wait to argue with you about this. <laughs> so we've just seen these doors called Ultraline. Yes, wow. And they're like massive bifolding doors. We don't know how much they are yet, but um, wow, that's inspiration. Yeah, that's really nice. Love those plants and stuff. They've got alley like planters, it's real nice. But this, I don't know where we are, but they let us have the stuff there. We'll take it with that's us. That's nice. Oh, that comes in like that. Okay, that's more like a bifold and yeah, that one, slight, isn't it? That's slight, like yeah. the big door. Very nice. So we're now onto the roof section. Yes. I don't have a clue where to start when you get to the roofs. Like, I'm not a clue. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you, Jord? My uncle's a roofer. Okay, so yeah, Jordan's a bit, yeah. bit more clued up than me, put it that way. But um, what's this one again? This is like a zinc. I like this one. Planning, but I, I don't know if we'll get planning for this. That's nice. Like, who knows? I don't, I don't know. No, we'll see. It's all early days at the moment in deciding what we're going to have and things like that. But um, And then this is like a... It's a bit like Cotswold, but I don't actually think it is. Right. I think this is cool. What is this called? Cool? Oh, did you? Yeah. It's very similar to Cotswold. Yeah, we do want um, some kind of stone on the wall. Yeah, like stone cladding. Here we go, George. Let's go with this one. Yeah, some fat. Let's make up our, our mind and let's go with oh, that. Yeah, they actually did that. Wow. So in um, where we, well near where we live, they have a load of these yeah, cottages, yeah, don't they? Cottages. Yeah. So this is what our, our old wall was like this. Oh, okay. Not insulated, and then you just clad it with this. Right, I see. And then they've obviously put the insulation between. Right. Yes. It's good to actually see how it works. I yeah, just... then the roof, you can see the roof straps. So how come when they built it, they didn't put any insulation in then? What was that all about? It's just old. What, they just didn't use to insulate them? Apart from in the walls, no, I doubt it. Not much. Not like it is now. Okay. Yeah. So on the renovation that we're doing, the home renovation, uh, there's going to be some bedrooms in the attic, and we're not quite sure whether to do it like that, pointing up there, so you get the flat bit, or to have it completely open like that. I think I prefer the open look, but it yeah, all comes down the problem to is practicality, really, doesn't no, it? No, and the cost. This is like. That, that obviously that's just treated timber in the back. Right. And then this is on show. So it's expensive. It's more expensive. Well good good job we have an expert in the family. Yeah. My stepdad is an expert at this stuff, so he's gonna tell us. But here we have the V Lux Cabrio. These are lovely, aren't they? These are. Very nice. So they're like a balcony window. Maybe we can have a couple. Can they do bigger in our room? Maybe. No, they literally just do it like that. Okay, but still. Oh, actually, maybe you can get a double together. Yeah, do you get a double? Yeah, maybe. Do you reckon can you get a double? Something like that, I think. That'd be nice if we could just sit this and have it open in the morning with our bed there. So we're now inside the show home, which is by Potton. I've not heard of Potton before. Some of you guys may know who they are, it's but. Um, yeah, oh wow, look, they have so many. Yeah, that is a lovely window. They have so many nice pictures of houses. A lot of renovation inspiration. Oh, look, Joel, the doors. We just. Right, look at those doors. Wow. Love it. That's cool. Yeah, so that's the kitchen. Yeah, that's the kitchen. But yeah, we've done like the finish and that so you can see the whole house. Look at that as a bedroom. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So Jordan has been on, on, can I tell you how much he's been on? To moving around you. About having a cinema room for yeah, so long. I have, I have, yes. And there will be one little dark space, I think. Yeah, we have pay. got a dark space, we think. Yeah. 
in the house, well, which is going to be... A gaming cinema room. And he's found the perfect people to do it because, wow, the, the sound in there is actually incredible. Yeah. Well, we can put all the speakers in and everything. So, that's we, on the list way Yeah, I think that's going to be something that last. we want and we're just going to leave the empty room. Yeah. Probably be like a storeroom for yeah, years. Yeah, storeroom, um, yeah. Brilliant. That would wow. be lovely one day. Inspiration. Inspiration, definitely. And here's some nice Cotswold stone, talking yes. of inspiration. This is nice. We've just come outside. So this is how it's explained to Luce, it's the cedar wood, right? Here it is. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> See how we've clad it? Yeah, no, I really like that. It's okay. a bit of cedar wood. You were right, with Jordan. aluminium. Guttering. Yeah. And then black slate. So yeah. something like that. Yeah. Like something like that for part of the yes, renovation. Yeah, yeah no, that is that absolutely that lovely. Like Jordan was right and he loves it. Right, love. Well done. No, that is absolutely lovely, isn't it? That uh, sliding. doors, to be fair, will be a lot cheaper than that huge sliding door that we saw. But We need to weigh it up, don't we? Yeah. And see what we think. These style lights in the garden, just some nice black down lighting. Yeah, really like those. Yeah. Yeah. Lighting always helps. Yes, no, love like your it. lighting, don't you? Yeah, we all know that. But what we want to do is plan the outside, doing the wood underneath. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it gives like a kind of seamless. I think back we're going for the woody look. I reckon. I think so. Back. Yeah, we think so. Don't know, there's so many ideas. We like that look though, don't we? Yeah. So. It's safe to say we highly recommend going to the show. We absolutely loved it and feel like we got so much out of it. I want to go back already, but thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys soon.